Phantoms win the f semi-final first leg, 6-3. Uh, a, a really important win in the context of the of the cup, of course, but maybe a really important win in the context of the season. Well, yeah, um, it's obviously only halfway through this this tie, but um, we've had a tough couple of weekends and. It was a shame that we weren't able to play yesterday. We, we prepared well in the week and, and we were confident going into for the game in Bracknell yesterday. Didn't happen and you know we, we wanted to put a performance in today and you know we always talk about it's the performance as opposed to necessarily the results. It's If you're not playing well, that's when you really need to start worrying and um, the performance has been there. Um, so it was nice to be rewarded with, with a victory. Glenn, a goal tonight and a, a strong performance from the lads going forward, I thought. Yeah, as well said, we've had a tough couple of weeks. Um, we felt that we weren't performing that badly, but um, it was nice to see a couple of bounces go our way tonight. Um, I think we played well. It was a good hockey game. and um, Yeah, so back on track, hopefully, but halfway there. Does it change? I mean, obviously, the game last night was called off uh, because of the weather, but Will says that the team prepare really, really hard. Does it change the emphasis because tonight becomes the first leg rather than the second leg? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we had a good week of training and we were ready for it. Um, but in the day, we, we couldn't do anything about it. Um, y yesterday, I was born about staying focused and focusing on the game today. Um, whether it's the first leg or the second leg, it's 60 minutes. Take it each period of time, each shift at a time. And uh, as we said, we're halfway and we're on the right side. Well, uh, that's the first victory against one of the bigger three since the new year. We've, we've had victories against Milton Keynes and Streatham and, and London Raiders. Uh, big win, really, really important to get a marker on that, especially with the big league games coming up. Uh, and yet, in the first period, the, the first goal after five minutes is a shorty, goes again, and I think it's something like six in four games. Yeah, when when that happened, it was you know head in hands kind of moment. We we've spoke about it after last week as as a team and, and as a power play unit that you know it's it's not acceptable to to concede shorthanded it happens every now and again but to, to happen as regular isn't you know it isn't great at all and it's making winning games a lot harder um i think there's there's not one one reason as to why we've conceded it so i think maybe just there's there's always an element of luck in sport um and we've, we've been a bit unlucky with some of them um and I think sometimes the pressure does start to build when when you know that what's happened the previous week, and I think you maybe grip your stick a little harder and and make mistakes that you you we weren't making, you know, a month ago, two months ago. Um, but we we got a power play goal, uh, and that's huge. I think it, it does the confidence a world of good um, to know that we're not just a liability going out there on on the power play. So I'm, I'm sure going forward, it's something that that you won't see too much of. I think that's a good response. I mean, you know, the, the, I think the fans probably felt that as well, just just like the players on the bench would have felt it. I thought the fans were awesome tonight on the power play later in the game, and, and I think Stepanek got a power play goal. But later in the game, they were really behind the team, and, and I think you know we've talked before about how important that is, Glenn. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, they were great tonight, and when you hear the noise going into a power play or any shift like that, it does give you that extra little bit of energy. Um, so yeah, they were awesome tonight, and hopefully they can continue doing that. They got the late goal, but uh, I think before tonight you'd have taken a three goal lead yeah definitely obviously um, four goals would have been a nicer lead than three and at the end of the day like you say if you if you offered us that going into the game I think we would have taken it it puts in a good position um, for the second leg whenever that's going to be um, and at, at the end of the day um, we've we've done everything we can and we're confident regardless we'll go into the second leg treating it as a, as a normal game of hockey a nil-nil game um, and we'll look to win it. OK, well, we'll wind up. Well done tonight. I think that's a huge performance. Shows loads of resilience from the guys and, uh, as you say, uh, steals a march for the, for the second leg and the league games coming up. Well done.